I'd like to show you two end games featuring just exquisite technique, both won by Magnus Carlsen. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I showed you this end game. So Ali Reza Firuz Jar playing white, Magnus Carlsen playing black. Now, if you just remember, let me remind you that this knight is stranded at the other end of the board and Carlsen managed to win it with this. This is just the very end. And here Firuzja resigned because that knight got caught and the king came back. And that's the end of the game. Now, I mentioned in that video that this is very similar to a game that Carlson played in the World Rapid Play Championship at the end of December. Now, let me just find this game. So, Paham Maksudlu against Magnus Carlsen. So, this time it's a rook playing against the knight. Now, they've been going around in circles for some time. This is rapid play, remember. Carlsen has just attacked this knight on f7. If the knight comes back to g5, then white is still holding this position. They'd had something very similar to this earlier. They'd been going around in circles. But Maksudlu saw a chance, obviously, to kind of put an end to the game quickly. You know, it's still tricky after knight g5, and, you know, black can still try stuff. But that's the way to draw. But Maksudlu uh, obviously thought, aha, I can snap that pawn, and then it really will be an easy draw. But watch what happened next. Carlson played a rook d7. This is very well spotted. Okay, so why not knight takes pawn? Well, then comes king e4. Notice that knight is running very short of squares. If it comes here, then it'll be trapped. And if g4, then king f4, and white's position just falls apart. This one is dropping, and then it'll be easy for black. And the knight is now in trouble. If, you, if the knight can't take this pawn, then where does it go? If knight b5, then king c4, and you can see it's going to be trapped here. Here, and it's trapped. Okay, so Maksudlu had to put the knight on e8. That's a very long way from the protection of these pieces. But this is still not easy. Carlson came up with a brilliant move. Can you spot it? Black to play. Rook f7. So the rook covers these squares. And you can see that the knight only has one square now. So these squares are covered by the rook. This square is covered by the rook. So that is the only available square for the knight. So if black's king comes back, then the knight will be lost. Okay, so the knight came to d6. Hits the rook. Still tricky. Rook f6. Excellent move. And if the knight goes over here, then rook c6, and you can see that that knight is running short of squares. So knight e8, hmm, is the position about to repeat? If knight, if, excuse me, if rook f7, the knight comes back, and that's a repetition. So the next move, again, is very subtle, very precise. Rook g6. So the rook covers this square, this square, and this square, so the knight only has c7 available. Well, there's not a lot that white can do here. Maksudlu played king f3 and king c4. So again, the king threatens to step back and simply take the knight. And this is crunch moment. King c6, and that'll be game over. So the knight has to leap out. King c6, attacks the knight. Knight a6. Okay, how do we catch that knight? Well, this next move is really important. Rook d6. 
It's a brilliant move. Not obvious, I mean, particularly when you're playing short of time. I mean, Carlson wasn't down to his final seconds, but still, you have to find moves in, you know, you've still got a couple of minutes left, but this is still tricky. Okay, so what's the point of this one? Well, watch this variation. This is very nice. If knight b4 check, king c5, the knight comes back to the second rank, and rook d2. So everything is just clicking together for black. Or what happens if white waits? Well, king f3, then rook d3 check, and the rook gets this side, covers b4, covers b8, the king covers these squares, and the knight is trapped. King, oh, no, not king b6, no, 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 rook, rook b6 will win the knight. Yeah, that's the one. So Masud Lu played king e3. And now king b5. So that knight has to move. Knight c7 check. King b6. And here's the next little tactic. If knight e8, then rook e6 check. It just fits together so beautifully. So in this position, knight a8 and king b7, and the knight was lost. And here Maksud Lu resigned, but only after checking that the, the 50 moves wasn't up. Um, in fact, I think they were on move 46 or something like that, so it wasn't a draw. If, if there'd been 50 moves without a capture um, or a pawn move, then... You can claim a draw, but no. Masud Lu hadn't arrived at that point, so he resigned. But what brilliant technique from Carlsen. And it's so similar, these two games. You can see, in this case, we have the rook and the king corralling the horse. And in the Firuz Jar game, we, we had the bishop and the knight just closing the net on the night in that case there you go hope you enjoyed that thanks for watching